Shalom. I'm going to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahushai, Ba'ashim, Rekha Kadash. I want to send for double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone to rule well and who has taught us this truth. Shalom. Wa Barakim. Lahabakari. Peace and blessings to the elect. And Lord willing, it's an edifying video. A quick thought came to mind, so I thought I'd just do a little quick video. And essentially, it's going into, you know, excessive anger, right? And another word for excessive anger is wrath. And um, these are, this is a emotion that we shouldn't be exhibiting as followers and believers in Yahweh Bashim El Shai. Those who have faith and trust in the Lord, um, you're not going to exhibit uh, wrath, right? And I got the word novice, the definition. It says a person new to or inexperienced in a field or situation, right? So a novice is someone that's new, a beginner, right? And a novice might exhibit wrath, but uh, the longer you dwell with the Lord, the longer you walk with the Lord, um, these things we shouldn't be, you know, experiencing. And there's a there's a ton of scriptures to go into that. Um, let's get a few. All right, this is um, we're gonna go to Sirach. This is um, mm, Sirach 10 and 18. It says, pride was not made for men, nor furious anger for them that are born of a woman. All right. So all of us were born of a woman, you know, so and furious anger was not made for us. Right. And also when you go into the scientific um, aspects of what happens when you get excessively anger it's actually very detrimental to your actual health um you start uh, producing a bunch of cortisol um your hormones are you know out of whack it takes i think several hours i think it takes like seven or eight hours for your body to um get itself together you know after you were angry for a short time so it's actually not even healthy for you to be angry all right, but not only is it not physically healthy for you, the Lord uh, told us not to. And also, <clears throat> it's just you're a fool if, you, if you're constantly uh, getting angry, overly angry. All right, so let's go ahead and get uh, just a couple more. This is Romans chapter 12 and 18. It says, and if it, if it be possible, as much as lieth in you, live peaceably with all men. All right. So the Lord said, if it's possible, dwell peaceably with all men. All right. So even if it's an enemy all right, even if it's a heathen, OK, we're supposed to, you know, dwell in peace. That's why we, we constantly say Shalom, peace, peace unto you. Right. It says, dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. A lot of times, you know, people get they experience wrath or or anger when they feel like they've been slighted or. They've been done wrong, right? And what do they want to do? They want to um, get their get back, right? But the Lord said, don't, uh, give place unto wrath. Don't avenge yourself, right? It says, for his written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, save the Lord. If you have true faith, trust, and assurity in Yahweh Bashim um, Yahushai, you know that the Lord is going to, he's going to vindicate you. All right, he's going to, He's going to avenge you and he's going to do far better than what we could do. All right. If we took matters into our own hands. OK. It says, therefore, if thine anger, um, if if therefore, if thine enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirsts, give him drink. For in doing for in so doing, thou shalt heap coals of fire on his head. All right. That's how you truly uh fight the fire, all right? Hitting them with uh, kindness, you know, killing them with kindness, like the scriptures say. All right, it says, be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. All right, and this is something that we got to continue to meditate on and practice. All right, it doesn't mean be a pushover or a sucker, 
You know, it just means don't do anything foolishly. All right. Go out and and, you know, kill people or, you know, what I mean, seriously harm people. You know, you just got to be wise, man. And know that, OK, the Lord's going to get them. All right. Or the Lord might put them in your hand, man. All right. The Lord might give you opportunity to execute, man. All right. But we got to practice patience. All right. Now, I want to get another scripture. I know I'm all over the place. <clears throat> uh, I want to get. Uh, yeah. The fruits of the spirit. All right. This is Galatians 5 and 22. It says, but the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance against such there is no law. So these are the fruits of the spirit, man. All right. It's talking about joy, peace, gentleness, just a calm, laid back individual. All right. That's how you know that the Lord is dealing with you. All right. That's how you know the spirit is on you if you're exhibiting um, these attributes, man. All right. The complete opposite of wrath. OK, now I want to get another scripture. I know I'm all over the place. I'm kind of multitasking right now, but I just wanted it to be kind of, you know, a quick little video. Um, all right. Lord one is edifying. All right. That's not what I wanted. There we go. This is Proverbs chapter 14 and 29. It says, He that is slow to wrath is of great understanding. Right? You're a wise man if you're slow to wrath. Okay? Which is the exact opposite of a novice. You're a man of experience. It says, But he that is hasty of spirit exalted folly. All right? Exalted folly. So, Lord's will, we can, uh, you know, rule our spirits, let, let not wrath overtake us, you know, and continue to walk in the spirit, man. You know, I didn't, I didn't want this to be, you know, a long video necessarily. Lord willing, it was edifying. I'm going to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rukha Kadash, double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone to rule well. Uh, Shalom, Barakim, Labakari, peace and blessings to the elect. Shalom.